Tun Dr. Lim Kang Yeg, a true Malaysian, dedicated to the nation's service in the spirit of one Malaysia for over 40 years. Born in Tapa and educated in Ipoh, Para, he pursued his medical training in Belfast, Northern Ireland, where he was active in Malaysian students' organisations. After government service, he started his own clinic in Chamor, where he was fondly called the Madcap Doctor because of his humorous and magnanimous attitude towards his patients, old and young. His care and concern for people soon drove him into politics, joining the MCA rising rapidly through the ranks. Though defeated in the general elections, Dr. Lim soon led the MCA reform movement. Dr. Lim was appointed senator and minister with special functions. Energetic and enthusiastic, he visited and brought hope to people in hundreds of new villages. But, his reformist drive was tall, eventually resulting in his resignation from his government position and expulsion from MCA. Inspired by Tun Dr. Lim Chong Yu, he and his comrades chose to join Grak Khan. He was soon appointed one of the two deputy presidents. He travelled tirelessly to recruit members and set up new branches nationwide. In short, we want members and leaders who have a heart and also a brain and a head. What do you mean by heart? A heart for the party, for the country, not for opportunities for themselves. and they must have a brain and otak so that they know what they are doing and not take us all to Holland. He took over the presidency of Grak Khan upon Chong Yu's retirement through a party election that inspired the Port Dixon spirit of Satu Hati. Despite several challenges and obstacles, he went on to get re-elected for eight terms and served as president for almost 28 years before retiring and handing over to Dr. Ko Su Kun. During his long tenure, he built up the party's nationwide organization and infrastructure, including the twin towers of Manara PGR M1 and 2 and state HQs. He was well known for being outspoken and outrighteous on key national issues, building up Grak Khan's reputation as the conscience and voice of the people, based on the concept of Bangsa Malaysia. For electoral and public office, Dr. Lim was first elected as the Assemblyman of Jalong, Sungai Sipo, and served with distinction as Perak State Exco member for two terms. He then moved to the Bruas Parliamentary Constituency, where he served well for five consecutive terms in 22 years. He sincerely helped the poor, schools, places of worship, and NGOs in Bruas. As an MP from Bruas, Dr. Lim returned to cabinet and was entrusted with the important portfolio of primary industries. Using his wit, wisdom and fighting spirit, he succeeded in promoting Malaysia as the world's top producer and exporter of palm oil, while developing tropical wood, cocoa and other commodities to be competitive and sustainable, earning income for the people and the nation. He often took the bull by the horn, 
successfully countering smear campaigns by interest group in America and Europe against Malaysian palm oil and tropical wood. After a record 18 years in primary industry, Dr. Lim was then given the important new portfolio of energy, water and communications. Within four years, he succeeded in restructuring the water supply and management structure for the whole country through formulating new laws and setting up new institutions. He laid the groundwork for the ICT infrastructure and infrastructure in the country, getting ideas from advanced nations. He also initiated and pushed for the rationalization of the energy sector. Very close to Tun Keng Yik's heart is education for our future generations. Besides helping to build and fund schools in many places, he initiated and championed the establishment of an open virtual university for working adults who had earlier missed the opportunity for post-secondary education. And that's why this university is called Wawasan Open University to complement Wawasan 2020. He put together a world-class team of experienced educators for the courseware and, and another team for the hardware, the buildings and facilities. He took over from Tun Chong Yu as the second chancellor. In barely six years after the first intake of students, WOU gained recognition as one of the top universities in Malaysia, the proudest moment for WOU and Tun Keng Yek indeed. Now the whole concept of this open university was easy to go in, difficult to get out. In the midst of all these, Dr. Lim still found time for his family, his friends and comrades. He was always ready to help many in hardship. One of the longest-serving political leaders, having worked with five prime ministers, Tun Dr. Lim Keng Yik was indeed a great leader, a true friend, a true Malaysian, committed and compassionate, patient and persevering. As we salute and bid farewell to Tun Keng Yik, let us emulate and propagate his spirit to build a better and fairer Malaysia for all. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Right. 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 Right.